How is it going everyone? Welcome back to the Serial Gaming. You can tell by the description. We gotta move some cold cars today. And it all looks like we got some Jeeps on us today. So let me go get this cut in and I'll be back with you once that is done. Alright, I'm back with you. We got everything cut in again, headlights the lights are running. We got the uh, NS5279 as our lead loco, NS5275 as our center, and then the uh, rear is 5288. So they're all Jeeps. Rear light is on, that is good. I haven't done this in a while, so let me do a locomotive brake test. Alright, release everything. So she is rolling back, our independent is working. So now give me about 10 pounds on the automatic. Right, there is our set. Now what I want to do is bail off. Alright, good release. Another 10 pounds. Good set and release. good release yep everything looks good to me let's get everything released and let's start heading over there Uh, start applying the independent now. Which it looks like is grasping really good. Nice and easy. Alright, full apply right there. No. That's 40 yards, huh? What about now? Okay, there we go. Alright, go to this location. Alright, that's weird. Now, do we have a signal up here? Okay, so this red signal to the left is governing that track, and I see a yellow. So... I am assuming that that is our signal. Now it's weird that they made me stop here. But I'm assuming it's for that signal. Also in the description it says that we'll be waiting a lot for passing freight trains so probably gonna have a lot of signals that'll be ducking into sightings. But there's a yellow. And talking about signals, um, I've been getting a lot of comments and, and great comments about things that 
you guys would like to see and one of them was the signal and so I will be coming out with a video probably within a couple weeks to a month talking about the signals on this train um, on this map and possibly I think it was sand patch was another one uh, those videos it just takes a little bit of time because you, I gotta go through so many different um, signals because you got dwarf and you got standalone and you got ones above the tracks and uh, obviously what is flashing what is not flashing so it takes a little bit of work to get those videos done but I will work on one and get it updated as soon as possible that's one thing the game does not teach is signals which I wish they did and surely I have cleared that track back there or oh, almost and there's a train right behind us you can see it's waiting at that signal so we're in this block system between that last signal I went through and this one in here and once I pass that next signal it would give that train a clear to go it, normally it would give that train um, an approach so you still have to go a certain speed um, so that if something happens they don't run into our block but I'm going to try to get this thing up to speed because I'm assuming that train is probably higher priority than I am Looks like the guy behind us needs to put it, put on some extra speed. We need to pull off at the south fork exciting so he can pass. Keep your speed down and we might not even have to stop at the other end. Okay. So that, that train does have higher priority than I do. He should be moving now. Um, there he is right there. There he's coming. This is what's cool about this map. And probably within a couple of weeks after I complete all the scenarios, I'm going to come back and then give my general opinion on it. So if you guys are viewers out there that are undecided or want a little more opinion about should I spend my money on this uh, DLC, I will come out the video and give my pros and the cons to this game, uh, to this DLC. Uh, so far, it has been pretty good. Um, but I still got, I think, two or three more scenarios to go. Yeah, one and a half miles is the South Fork siding. Did my lights. Got an oncoming train here. Yeah, so I got a red over yellow. Is that a flat, flat cars? They sure are. That's pretty cool. All right, back to bright. Yep, so once I clear that, let's see how far back this train is. Uh, we got a little while before it catches up. So this is the South Fork siding case if somebody's curious so it's not complete center of the map uh, but it is this branch off and so here's our Y so uh, what is that poly south fork Y and this is the south fork siding everything that's lined up in blue do a medium on that you know the one thing I notice about this map it does not have a lot of crossings so that mixed manifest train just got a red signal so they're stopping and I still got about maybe two cars 
few cars to go. Yeah. Let me actually speed this up. Get this train off of here. Wrong brakes. Alright, so now I'm clear of this signal, which it should give that train that's coming now a green. Alright, let's see. Oh, yep, there he is right there. Alright, yeah, he's hauling it. Oh yeah, look at that. Smoke rolling out. Alright, look at that. We got a double red over a flashing yellow. That means that we are good to go. Let me make sure that the headlight was still left on bright. Oh, we got a nice run to this track two. Now, it looks like, can I stop here? I can. Now I'm gonna do it. How many times, how many chances I should say, do I have the ability just to stop right here? Well, I can't put it there, but I think, right there, traveling circus? And, okay. Now I'm ready to rock and roll.
Now we're in the way back here. There's a main track, so it's right there. And yep, we made it way in the back. So there should be no signal back here. So if I go past this marker, I should be good. Hopefully if I stop, they don't get all mad at me. Ah, that should be good right there. Awesome. And of course, the mine has been, has a conveyor failure while testing for arrival. Guess we just get ready for when that's fixed. All right, so uncouple. That stuff, okay. So center of the reverser. We'll put about that much on it. I know you're not gonna do anything, but decide to sit there and and just sit there. I don't know. Normally I would tie a handbrake on this stuff, but I'm not going to do that today. I don't know what they want me to do. Could be possible running around this stuff. Pass the tipple siding switch. Alright, well it looks like not only we're somewhat of a road train, also got to be switching this stuff. Might as well do that right away. Now sometimes I do switch on the map and other times I'll get down at the switch stand and, and do it, but. I think one of the scenarios is actually yard switching. And maybe for that video, I'll do a realistic yard switching job. should be good go to track one all right so I'm gonna leave that as flash since I'm in the yard all right anytime you're going backwards it's three horns going forward is two and I know I'm clear because I stopped the head locomotive at the clearance point Stop the head end on this marker. Okay, stop at the other end of the siding. So a little bit set on the independent. All right, so yep, it wants me to go all the way back. So yep, I am running around these cars here. Man, they want you to stop right on that marker. Now? Okay. Yep. Just like I thought, a couple up to them. and easy on this hook it'll be five miles an hour and under 
and I'm fighting a grade, so. There it is. All right, let me stretch it. All right, that is a good hook. Stop at location. Okay. So it's like the bottom part of the Y. So I got to deal with. Alright, we can turn that off. And let's just put this to dim and just, yeah, I'll just knock off the ditch lights. There's no point in having them. Alright. Time to head forward. Now I might as well do this on the ground. So am I loading or just going through this section? I don't think I'm loading. Let's see. No, because I think I think the conductor said that the, the loading chute was broken or something like that. So it looks like I'm just going to get these cars spotted. So when they're ready to get loaded, they just got to move them. Unless the game is like, oh hey, by the way, they got them fixed. Can you load them for me? So then I need to probably stop the first car right here. Cause this isn't okay, yeah, stop back there. Uh, let's see what happens. So this is where I load up the call at. And you can tell, look at the 2.2% grade. I wonder if they gravity roll these to get um, moved. Some uh, customers do that. They'll build their plants on a incline or on a grade like this. So when that when they're loading or unloading, the cars just gravity move, and once they're done, they shoot them down the track. Right there? No? Maybe? Oh. You gotta be kidding me, right? No? Let me see if I come back this way. And that's what wants me to stop way back there. That's probably what they probably want me to do. Let me try this spot. No, they want me to go. Way back there. I don't know, I'm not liking this. Um, there's just trees in the... Okay, okay. Great work, we'll get the team right here to sort out the coal ready for its journey.
Was it? Okay. That was not a bad run. Not at all. Ooh. Did not do good on the scoring. Um, just almost an hour and ten minutes. 16.4 miles of run time. And walked 400 yards. And got that petty bronze medal. I might come back and redo this one to get a gold medal. Um... Yeah, that was not bad. It was confusing at the end. Um, Cause I didn't know where to stop. But um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that. If you made it this far, please consider uh, giving the video a like as it'll help out the right algorithm. And if you're new here and you like content like this or other simulation games, um, please uh, consider hitting that subscribe button. Um, but until next time, we will see you all later.